Hey guys, how's it going? It's Minecralix here, and as you can see, my tree has now grown, and welcome to another episode of One Block Survival, and it seems that my tree has grown. So now I can resume my Let's Play, which is very great, because when I ended it, if some of you don't remember, it was basically me saying that I'm going to wait until the tree grows, and for some reason the tree took an immensely long time to grow and by a long time to grow i mean it did take a very very long time to grow because i mean oh my god we are so lucky we have an apple because well we're not going to be able to replenish our hunger anytime soon we're going to need to set up a bone meal a farm where um the uh, grass right here gets bone mealed for um, wheat seeds, and then when, what we're going to do is we're going to take the grass and then cut it down after bo bone mealing it. Well, like chop it down, I don't know, or break it down, uh, whatever the term is in Minecraft. I'm just going to cut the grass down after bone mealing it, but to get bone meal, we have to get our mob grinder finished. And to get our mob grinder finished, we have to get more wood, because it is yet still not finished, and would you look at that, we're running out of hunger very, very, very quickly, and it looks like we have just enough planks to finish the tube up, so let me see, how am I going to do this, yeah, so I'm going to count out 24 blocks, or Yes, so what I'm going to do is, this is kind of going to be complicated because I do not have water in this Let's Play. Making the Let's Play much, much harder, and this whole map much harder. But I like hard maps and challenges, so this I hope this will be very interesting because I like challenges. And would you look at that, so that is, uh, let's see, that is 23 blocks. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is like this. I'm just going to jump up right over here. And jump up right over here. So I'm building basically a very, very simple mob grinder that does not require any redstoning to be done. And now, of course, I'm not going to fall down because then I would die. So what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to mine down. And this pole up here, this block, um, I don't know, this will serve as basically a um, tape measure to as how high we need to go. But we already completed one of the columns, so that's a big thing. But unfortunately, right now, I do not have anything else to do except to wait because I will have to collect more wood to make the mob grinder and to make this whole tunnel complete. So the idea behind this mob grinder here is it's going to be like, um, it's going to be like, like, uh, I don't know, uh, a square tunnel right here. Well, this is a square drop zone and right here the zombies and, um, no, the, all the mobs, the creepers, the... The witches, hopefully, and hopefully there's going to be a lot of witches because we need witches for redstone and stuff, but that's going to be something else I wanted to talk about, but I hope that there's going to be a lot of mobs dropping down here, and they're basically going to spawn on top of a very, very large dark room up there, and then using trap doors, I will lure them inside, like, this portion right here, where, where they think that it's, it's going to be a trap door up there, and then they think it's a full block, but actually it's not a full block, so then they're going to walk off and then they're gonna fall down and then they're gonna die and I'm going to collect all their drops down here but now that I do not have anything to build with I will unfortunately have to wait till the next tree grows now if anyone is wondering mine mine Kralix, why are you not planting a tree on this block of grass right here well that is a very great question because I have to preserve this grass right here because you can see right here where it's um it's dirt because when the tree grows it basically kills the grass on it but I have to preserve the grass for flowers and for wheat seeds later for bone mealing it so I only have one block of growable uh, dirt because on this block I will 
grow both wheat and trees, but on this block, I'm just going to harvest wheat seeds by left-clicking bone meal on this block right here, and it's going to yield me flowers, which will yield dye. So I'm going to get red dye, uh, yellow dye, and gray dye from oxy daisies and all that good stuff. This is going to be particularly only, only for... Um, seed and flower collection. So I'm going to think is uh, when we're going to get witches to spawn up there and they're going to drop down, what's going to happen is we're going to get redstone. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to place um, dispenser here and then place a redstone clock circuit so then I could just press a lever and then it will bone meal the tree and then it will automatically grow. That way we'll have an basically a semi-automatic tree farm well we still will have to chop it down with an axe which will which i will of course get but of course the axe has to be wooden because in this world we do not have lava nor water which means the cobblestone generator making this map even more difficult which is going to be super super fun guys i'm i'm so excited looking forward to this let's play one thing to note is that I will also not have a furnace in here because of no cobblestone, because of no cobblestone generator, because of no uh, ice or lava. So I will have to, and and you know what? No, no, no furnace means no charcoal from wood, and no charcoal from wood equals no torches. And no torches equals, ladies and gentlemen, a pretty dark island with mobs on it. So, I will only have one source of light, and that's when witches drop down, they will hopefully drop glowstone. And my whole island is probably going to be small, as small as possible, since I'm going to have to... Um, since my, re my resources are very low and probably my island's going to be very small, but my whole island is going to be illuminated by glowstone blocks. And that's going to look very, very cool because I'm not going to have one torch on this island. It's all going to be glowstone. Glowstone energy is cheap and reliable energy. I don't know, or something like that. Kind of like some solar panel petition or clean energy petition. But... Oh, of course, that's fake. They just give the same amount of light, but um, glowstone is actually much brighter. Like, it can light much more than torches, and glowstone also looks much better than glow... Uh, glowstone looks, excuse me, glowstone looks much better than torches, in my opinion, because it can be put into every block. So basically, how we're going to get glowstones when witches are going to fall down here, they're not going to die instantly, so I'm going to have to kill them with my sword. And then um, there's, a, I think, a 10% chance that they drop glowstone. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to craft so they drop glowstone dust, and I can just take that glowstone dust, and four glowstone dust equals one glowstone block. So then I will just collect some glowstone and place it all around my island, but I will definitely have to keep it as small as possible because obviously we're not going to get a lot of glowstone drops since um, the witches are very, um, well, I want to say they're rare, but they are, they are fairly rare, but what makes it even harder to get glowstone is the fact that, um, is the fact that even when you do get a witch spawn, there's only a 10% chance that a witch actually does drop glowstone. The others drops are sugar, sticks, glass bottles, potions of healing, um, of course, which will all be very, very useful to me, um, including the sugar, especially because we have sugar cane, but we'll still be able to get sugar, and especially the potion of healing, because that's going to be great, because we're not going to be able to brew any potions because of lack of water in this map, and everybody knows that to start out to brew a potion, we will have to have a water bottle. And those, those water bottles, we can't obtain them without a water block source, so we'll have to rely on, on um, um, witches dropping glass bottles. No, not glass bottles, but witches dropping potions of healing, and then we can use those to regenerate, just in case if we're going to the nether or something. And oh yes, guys, I will be going to the nether in this world. It is... It, it seems like currently we do not have much, but this, trust me guys, this map 
it has endless possibilities. And now I'm getting a bit scared that there's going to be mob spawnage because my mm, my island is very dark and it's night, but it's small, so I'll have to just stand on top of here and just look at the island. But one thing I'm scared of most is a mob spawning up there because mobs can't spawn while, while you're looking at something. Since I'm looking at this, mobs won't spawn here. If I look away, mobs can possibly spawn here. It's going to be a, sh um, a pretty low chance, but a mob might spawn there. Like, if a creeper spawns there, then we are definitely going to be in the crapper because then what's going to happen is he might destroy our island which will be very bad and look at that the grass regrown on this block right here but when the tree does grow it's still gonna stomp out the grass down here it looks like the tree is not growing and it's not gonna grow during nighttime because trees do have to have a special light level I'm not sure I think it's light level I think it's light level 5 or above, but anyway, since we don't have torches, we can't do anything about it except wait. So I will cut filming and then resume when this tree will grow, and for you, and for all of you guys, it's only going to be like 3 seconds, but for me, it's going to be like 30 minutes to an hour. And I also forgot to show you guys, this tree took the past tree that I just broke down, it took me like 5 days to grow in Minecraft. Like, it's just just so crazy. Look look down down where it says local difficulty. It says 1.62, and then it says day six. It literally took me five days to grow a tree, which is about like two hours. I don't know why that tree took a long time to grow, but I hope that this tree does not. So yeah, guys, I'll just continue filming when the tree regrows, and see you all in a while. Hello, guys. I'm back and finally back. Because for you, it was probably a few seconds to a millisecond, but for me, that gap between those two clips was around three hours, and I am not even exaggerating. I just waited three hours, literally, and I cut down about three trees by now, because as you can see right here, I have 22 oak wood planks. Um... And, yeah, it took me, like, a very long time growing all of these trees. And the worst part about it is the trees can only grow during daytime because I don't have torches. And I don't have glowstone to light the surrounding area. So, basically, what happens is I have... Uh, and, of course, trees uh, trees need a certain light level to grow. I think it's light level 7 or something like that. And light level 7 can only be achieved during daylight or... Oh, yep. Oh, no. We didn't get any apples from that one. But we're so lucky to get this one apple. I can't jump very much because that will waste hunger. And hunger is one of the most useful things we have. Because we won't be able to regen until we finish this huge, huge mob grinder here. And, of course, I have to grow more trees, because 23 oak wood is not enough. It will yield quite a bit of planks, though. And, yes, oh my god, we have quite a bit of planks there. So, I am going to... And, oh, I almost just failed there. I forgot that I have to... Yes, I have to do this all evenly, or then I won't be able to get down. And that way it's more efficient. I can finally build a bit of the mob grinder now. I'm holding on to shift as much as I can right now because I don't want to fall off. And oh my god, I hope we get that block back. Stupid me. Yep, we got it back. So, um, guys, what do you want me to do in this let's play? So I have a set of challenges for myself in my brain. I don't really have them written down, but I do have like just some ideas on what I want to do in this let's play I want to do many many things and it would take me until tomorrow to list all those things and you will see me do all the things I want to do in future episodes and I'm super super excited for this let's play guys it's going to be very very fun we're gonna do a lot of stuff I think I might have as much as a uh, hundred episodes on this let's play but that's of course 
something I can't guarantee, but I would love to have m as many episodes as I can. And, oh my god, I actually... That is actually... We almost finished the tube. If we had gotten just up there, then we would have finished it already by now. But the problem is for me now is to get down. So, my way of getting down is just simply mining down these blocks over here. So, um, guys, I was thinking, it's now the new 1.9 snapshot, no, no, not the new 1.9 snapshot, but Minecraft 1.9 will be coming out soon, I'm so, so excited for it, the release date has been confirmed by Mojang to February 29th of 2016, and if you're watching this in the future, I hope you're having fun with playing 1.9, um, there's definitely have been many, many snapshots already, and... 1.9 but I don't like snapshots I just prefer to wait until the real update comes but the big idea for this 1.9 update is because it will basically it will um, give us some new options in this let's play and when I mean options for yeah I'm just gonna put that down because in case mobs spawn down there then um, I don't want them to come out it'll still be pretty dangerous and we have our uh, drop tunnel going pretty well now it seems though, although we still haven't done it, and considering it took me about three hours to grow enough trees just for this, this is going to take much, much longer than I expected. But this is definitely a hard let's play. I wasn't expecting this to be easy, but you know, the waiting is very, very tiring. But at least I was spending time doing homework instead of just uh, standing there and staring at the screen for three hours. I did have get some stuff done while that time and my biggest concern is when i start building the big part of the mob grind what's going to happen is i'm not going to have glowstone or anything or uh, torches to light it so what's going to happen is going to be a ton of mobs spawning there so what i have to do is i either have to slab everything up after i'm done constructing it or I have to calculate the exact amount of wood needed to complete the mob grinder and then just get enough wood to complete it in one go. And then we will have to complete it just, just like right when the sun rises. We're going to have to go up there and then build it all in one day before night falls so mobs don't spawn up there. And definitely mobs are the most dangerous thing right now. I don't want to be very scared of mobs. I'm a pretty pro Minecraft player, but to be honest here, we do not have any food, basically. All we have right now is apples. Well, at least before we finish the mob grinder. I mean, of course, I can maybe kill some skeletons for bone meal, and that will speed up our tree growth, but there's a big chance that there's going to be a creeper that just explodes, and that's just going to just obliterate our whole island and kill me and I'm just gonna respawn in the middle of the void because I mean you know when I don't I do not have a bed right now so what's gonna happen is I haven't saved my spawn point yet so if I die right now or fall off the island or, or whatever I'm not going to be able to get back on the island like I'm kind of technically playing in hardcore because if I die then it's game over the map just just ends like, like if a creeper blows up on me or blows up my island or like or blows me up and then um destroys my saplings then it, it's it's game over guys like there's nothing to do so i do take safety in high regard in this let's play and i will calculate the amount of blocks needed to complete the mob grinder and i will probably see you in like i don't know like five more hours or so or whenever i complete whenever i get enough blocks to build this huge thing which will definitely not be soon and i really really hate this rain i'm so glad that i turned down a weather off right here so it doesn't make that sound so you can still hear the block textures and everything but I just can't hear the rain so I've been thinking guys and our hunger's going away and we have not gained any more apples unfortunately so here it goes yep that's gonna keep us going for a very very short while until we start starving to death now if anybody knows here anything about Minecraft um, people, you guys, Minecraft players should know that if you're playing on normal, which I am right now playing on normal, 
hunger, it can kill you. It can only get you to half a heart of health. And that's basically, I mean, that's good. I won't be able to die from hunger, but that's bad because what's going to happen is if I fall down, like if I fall down from four blocks, then it's game over. I instantly die and then instantly like the map is just over just from falling down from four blocks. Or if like, or if a skeleton just shoots me um, once with an arrow in my leg, it will instantly kill me and then game over once again. So even though I won't be able to get killed by hunger, it might as well, it's just one cause which might kill me. Because, well, what's gonna happen, yeah, just like I said, just one, just any damage will kill me. Because every damage in Minecraft deals at least half a heart of damage. Any damage in Minecraft will kill me then, which is very bad. And here comes the sunrise, guys. Well, I think that this episode has been going on very long now. Um, I actually accomplished quite a lot in this episode. I was able to make this tube up here, which is not a very big accomplishment, it seems. But for me, it is because I have to wait hours and hours for this tree to grow. And it will be just easier for me to end the episode here because in the middle of the episodes I could be able to farm these trees. I would be able to farm all of these trees to get enough. And oh look, the rain stopped raining. It's, re it's much nicer like this. Definitely much nicer. I will be able to farm more saplings when I'm like not recording. When I'm um... When I'm like in the middle of episodes, I'll be able to farm all these trees. And oh yeah, guys, I don't spawn in the wood because. And here's the proof that I don't. If I go into F3, where it says down here, uh, on the left bottom side, where it says, um, yeah, where it says, yes, it says where it says local difficulty. It says 1.79, and then in parentheses it says day 13. And yes, guys, we have this whole time 13 Minecraft days, which is like, I don't know what, like each day is around 20 minutes or something. I'm not sure if it counts like a day and a night as a day or just a day. I don't know. Well, a day is 20 minutes and the night is 20 minutes. So that's probably like 40 minutes each in real time so that's a very very long time and this is the only thing that we have achieved in day 13 in most other vanilla let's plays in day 13 most people already go to the nether and many people have beat the game like killed the ender dragon by day 10 so we definitely haven't achieved much but since we're playing in this type of map i am still proud of my achievements so see you all in the next episode. I'm so excited, guys. It's going to be a blast. Uh, even though it doesn't seem fun right now, necessarily. But it's going to be very, very great. Uh, right when I start this mob grind, everyone starts going. Then we're all going to be fine. We're going to have bone meal. We're going to have everything. It's just we have to finish this mob grinder. So see you all in the next episode. This is Mike Kralix, and I'm out. See you all in the next episode.